Hey there, Tundra Nation, and welcome back to the channel. Today on Tundra Tactical, we issue you a warning. We tell you a tale of woe, a story not often seen but common enough to warrant this dramatization. Lady and gents, today we are going to tell you what happens when you buy your first AK. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching, and let's start the show. Do you have a problem with vampires? How about werewolves? Are you constantly concerned you're going to be attacked by little angry demons who spout nonsense on the internet? No? Well, don't worry, this week's sponsor, Boolean Box, can still help out the discerning and cultured shooter in your life with their monthly box that includes hand-picked precious metals, including coins, bars, and bullets. Yes, you heard that right, folks. Now, Boolean Box can take care of all of your undead slaying needs. Make sure to check them out today. For those of you who have not yet purchased an AK variant rifle, there is still hope to save your soul. Excellent! But for those who've placed their hands on that commie trash even only one time, well, I'm sorry to say your fate is sealed. Behold, a tale that has been told and retold since the year 1 BC or before Kalashnikov, which was the first year that mattered, and almost everything that happened before that was more or less a series of mistakes. Now, if you try to tell me that Kalashnikov doesn't even have a single C in it because it doesn't make sense, well, I want you to know two things, bucko. Number one, it's Cyrillic or something. And number two, I don't need to know how to spell when I am holding an AK. Fight me, haters! There comes a moment in every man's life when they're sitting in the living room scrolling through their preferred social media platform and they begin to see how disgusting and ugly people can be to one another. Their mind ponders on how these people can perform such heinous acts to their fellow man and they contemplate the evil that can exist in a human soul. In traditional male fashion, once it's realized that emotions and these things called feelings have infiltrated his usually cold and dead heart, he suppresses them. This right here is the catalyst that will spark off a series of events that will change him into an unrecognizable terror. Over the course of months, perhaps even years, cracks begin to develop in his psyche and almost unnoticeable ticks begin to manifest. It's only a matter of time now, and when that time finally comes, that man will turn to his wife and say, Sally, bring me my AK. When this reality sets in, the man realizes his wife is actually not sitting next to him. In fact, he's not even married. He's talking to a certain adult aide in his clapped out office and doesn't even own an AK. Action must be taken to correct at least one of these errors in life experience, and after careful consideration, the obvious choice is made. Suddenly, research begins. And this is not the normal type of research, mind you. This is the special kind of research that only involves YouTube influencers telling you why AK is good and AR is bad. Now, this becomes a sickness of the brain that's commonly compared to extra chromosomes slap fighting each other for dominance. Our hero then racks his brain trying to justify which AK is going to be best for him. Now he's going to weigh the pros and cons of milled versus stamped, forged versus billet, 545 versus 762, and on and on. He eventually buys an Atlantic firearms rifle because that's all he can afford. At this point, you think he would be satisfied with the result, but this could not be further from the truth. This is the final nail in the coffin for the man that he used to be as he transcends into a completely new state of being. Slowly, but inevitably, much like the force of time beating back a mountain into a vast plain, the normal human clothes in his wardrobe are replaced by tracksuits and athletic shoes. Not just any brand will do, of course. Now, Adidas is no longer an available option at the local clothes mart but it does become the only suitable provider of garments used to cover his soft and flabby body. Woohoo! Look at that blubber fly! Now, this man, he understands on a primal level basic human needs. And when it comes to hydration, good old-fashioned H2O, well, it no longer cuts it for him. Water is no longer the most plentiful group of elements in this man's body. Vodka is the only liquid eligible to pass his lips. Now, don't get me wrong here, it would be difficult to consider him an alcoholic. Vodka seems to have no effect on his body other than keeping him on an even keel, which he and only he considers to be normal at this point. The sad and inevitable truth begins to set in. 
Without regular consumption of potato-based beverages, he will suffer immensely and ultimately perish. Our buddy here may have at one time enjoyed listening to country music, or maybe even things like classic rock. But as a result of his transformation, these genres are no longer capable of providing pleasure to his ears. Electronic abominations of sound now fill the air of his car that was assembled by people receiving a slave's wage to construct the cheapest form of motor-powered transportation as efficiently as possible without actually investing in fancy conveniences like machines or proper tools. His neighbors, unaware of his condition, slowly go insane with the unyielding rhythmic gut punch that is Russian hard boss as it infiltrates their sanity. While the exterior of his home becomes dilapidated due to neglect, the structure itself actually becomes more sound as it's been reinforced with stacks upon stacks of sealed ammo cans. The smell of lacquered cases and burden primers permeates the inside of the structure that is more akin now to an abandoned warehouse than a home. As our friend slowly descends into madness, or what the Slavs call a pretty average Tuesday night, we can just make out the shape of a man squatting under one of the only working lights left in his house. It's a terrifying sight to behold, and as the AK rises above his head, we hear the guttural war cry of... Bleach! Now that the true nature of this horrible beast is revealed, we see that he is lost and beyond hope. At this point, the focus of life is no longer to marry and procreate while providing a positive influence upon humanity. No, the only goal of this person is to accumulate more AKs and as much surplus ammunition as possible. While there are those who are going to look down on this poor husk of a man, fret not my cultured chums for he has achieved the pinnacle of feral behavior and has ascended to a dominant position in his new tribe. Instead of harassing the general public, he can be found in gravel pits shooting in his tracksuit with body armor and balaclavas on, perfecting the art of the tactical reload without the use of unnecessary modern advancements such as ergonomics. He does this far, far away from what most of us would consider to be civilization, and he's easily scared off by even the mere presence of another person. At the end of the day, we must realize that he is no threat to mankind, just simply proof that de-evolution is a viable theory. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to check out these two cripplers right here. And don't forget to join us next week when we still don't know what the f we're doing.